The blue economy is the past and the future of coastal communities in Maine. It's really where we get our cultural identity. It's what keeps us financially able to stay here, but also there's a sense of community that comes from making your living off the ocean. When I think of the blue economy in Maine, I think opportunity. Opportunities both on the water and off the water. And opportunities to take local, sustainably harvested products and show the world the quality that Maine's blue economy can provide. Maine's blue economy is a job creator, vital economic engine, and a key to the protection and preservation of Maine's valued maritime heritage. DMI's role is focused on the sustainable management of both wild-caught fisheries and aquaculture products. But it's clearly not enough to limit our focus here. The third area that must be a high priority for all of us in Maine is our working waterfront. The sustainable management of these industries does us no good if there is no way to access them. These three areas are all necessary components of the blue economy, but they will all come with great challenges. The future of Maine's blue economy depends on supporting small communities, acting on social equity, being environmentally sustainable and economically viable. I would define the blue economy as sustainable, resilient and innovative. Ways for Maine to use our natural coastline assets to solve global needs and create economic opportunity. I think UMaine can play a pivotal role in Maine's blue economy, from preparing and educating the workforce of the future, to engaging in critical research to support the sustainability of our marine resources, to identifying new opportunities for renewable energy generation. The University of Maine contributes to Maine's blue economy in so many ways. Improving our understanding of Maine's marine resources through groundbreaking research, by working with industry to improve the efficiency of global supply chains and by using the latest technology to turn waste streams into revenue streams. There is tremendous potential for farming sea scallops in Maine, but we got to get everything figured out first. And that is where UMaine has really been providing the scientific muscle to help us figure out what to try and practice and constantly just ground truthing and checking what we're seeing and what we think we know. Where UMaine really makes a difference to us is with the general scientific knowledge and expertise. There can be a big gulf between research and reality on the ground and UMaine really shines at incorporating industry into what they do. The intersection of offshore wind and our wild caught fisheries presents a challenge, yet both are part of our blue economy and we can't choose one over the other. We would ask the university and any developer to do a better job when it comes to finding a path forward with harvesters. Aquaculture is now slowly becoming a way to diversify. Where originally we saw controversy between wild caught and farm species, we're now seeing more connections. Lobstermen engaged in kelp farming is a great example of this new diversification. While we continue to focus on sustainable wild caught species, we have seen the interest in aquaculture grow. Governor Mills supported our effort to expand the capacity within the aquaculture program here at DMR and ensure that we could adequately meet the demands of this growth. UMaine has been critical to us for research and monitoring, especially related to sea run species and river restoration benefits and impacts. UMaine researchers have been vital to our ability to monitor the ecological impacts of river connectivity statewide and especially on the Penobscot River. The Nature Conservancy has really enjoyed working with the Maine Sea Grant Program, which has advanced our partnerships and communications about the importance of restored native fisheries. One other thing that comes immediately to mind is a growing partnership that we and many others have with um, the University and the Wabanaki Ways Program. That's gonna be super vital to us all together bringing Wabanaki ways of knowing into conversations about the blue economy and what matters to a diversity of people. Best case scenario, five or 10 years down the road, 
all the natural fisheries around now are thriving and there are young people moving to the state to start up farms in areas where there's no conflict and you basically have a multi-generational thriving working waterfront uh, community getting built up. The work Humane's doing and the sea scallop farming we're seeing and all the other species of shellfish that we're starting to farm have the potential to help stave off complete devastation in Downey's communities. No one's hoping for that. We all hope that everything's gonna keep going great as it has been, but we have all our eggs in, in one basket. And if nothing else, this is a wonderful insurance plan. Building on strong relationships takes hard work. The opportunity for expanded collaboration between you, Maine, and DMR are right in front of us. Let's roll up our sleeves and together support Maine's blue economy.